Hi, this is Phil Biedrone. I'm outside of CJ's Functional Fitness. Right next to me is Ade. Now, Ade, you are not a trainer. Tell me, what brings you here today? No, no, no. I'm not a trainer. I wish I could be one. one maybe I'll You can look like you one. could be one. Well, <laughs> I'm working with CJ, and that group, you know, they inspire. So who knows? Maybe one day. <laughs> okay, so you do work with, uh, with CJ? Yes, I've worked with CJ. I've been working with him for about three years. Mm -hmm. uh, came in one day. I, I wanted to do something different with fitness. I wanted to be able to get fit. But I didn't want to go in the gym anymore. I was just fed up. I was fed up with the treadmills. I was fed up with just going in, the whole gym scene where you got to be perfect before you go in. And I wanted to learn something new. I wanted to learn something new. And CJ was one of our advertisers with our station. Mm -hmm. And I knew that he taught boxing. And so I Just said, to back up real quick, when yeah. you say station, what are you referring oh, to? Oh, 102.3 KJLH. Make sure you tune in there. Let me give my plug. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so um, I knew he was one of our advertisers. I came to him secretly. I did not want anyone to know. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what, I want to learn how to box. And uh, I don't want anyone to know who I am. Let's, we even came up with another name. Is it a night? No. Is it a night? <laughs> You're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was the name? Oh, I think it, I can't even remember the name now. Was it a cool, like, boxer name? Like? No, it wasn't. Light, Light-footed Murray? It was so bad, though, he would be calling me, and I wouldn't know he was talking to me. So we had to change it. Yeah. So it anyway, I, t I decided to do the boxing, uh, came up with this other name, but everyone started asking, what are you doing? Because the weight came off so quickly with mm -hmm. the boxing mm -hmm. and everything. And they kept saying, what are you taking? And I was like... What am I taking? I'm putting in some hard work with CJ. Up, in the, you know, I'm thinking mm -hmm. I wouldn't tell them that. I wouldn't tell anyone I was going to the gym. Then eventually, I just said, CJ, I got to get out and endorse you. I got to tell people what I'm doing because everyone's thinking I'm taking some kind of pill, some kind of medicine. It is not that. I have to do it. So mm -hmm. we came out like that Taste of Soul, a big festival that we did because mm -hmm. everyone had kept asking me, "What are you doing? How did you lose the weight so quickly?" And then I showed them my secret weapon. CJ is functional fitness, and that's how I, I believe in what he does. I know that it works when you put the work with it. Uh, his knowledge and skill of functional fitness, where you're not just on a treadmill, mm -hmm. you're actually doing things to keep you functional, things that you use throughout the day. And I said, hey, put me on board. Whatever I can do to help get the word out about what you're doing for people. Mm -hmm. Because not only my results were drastic, so many other folks that come in that are obese and really need this work, he yeah. is doing some wonderful work. And I said, hey, whatever you need, I'm here. Speaking of whatever that is needed for the project, yeah. so for Bell of the Bulge, what is your role? Well, I will be, well, because I've been through the training for, I'll, they'll probably have me out there working out too, but I will be the host of sorts. So I will talk to the, each of the uh, participants and find out what they've learned, talk about their struggles, mm -hmm. the things they're going through, how we can work through those things together and keep them on the track with each trainer. I love that each trainer has a different different skill set mm -hmm. they do different things differently and that's all about fitness you have to find the right trainer that works for you and if you don't know what's out there how do you ever find out you give up right right well we have the very best and so you'll be able to go to each and every trainer and figure out what works for you so you can keep on your fitness goal yeah that, that seems foolproof like yeah. an excellent yeah, plan so a day thank you so much thank you the pleasure's mine pleasure. <laughs> thank you See, let's see a couple of hooks. <laughs> Fitness, right next to me is Dion. Dion, you're not a trainer, but what brings you out tonight? Well, I just wanted to support my uh, brother, CJ. Uh, he is an amazing man. Whenever I, I, my job, I'm in law enforcement, so I don't get to work out as much, and I start to gain weight, and uh, we end up not looking alike. So when that happens, uh, <laughs> I get my vacation, and I come in, and I let him kick, let him kick my butt for a while. And I got to tell you, he, I'm so proud of him, his professionalism, how he, you now me, there's no mercy on me. I thought because we're brothers, he's going to take it easy on me. Right. But I'm like, man, do you even love me while I'm sweating and dying and <laughs> yeah. passing out? And uh, but in the end, you know, uh, he, he saved my life on a couple of occasions. Uh, my blood pressure was getting high and uh, and that's pretty common in African Americans and and that one of his his goals hearts goals is to get Af the African American com community and any community to basically get their lives together and, and, and get healthy and he helped me on several occasions and uh, I just just I just want to come by and say I love him that's it that's my bro and, and I'm not just saying that because he's my bro I'm just saying that because he's really an awesome man who has a passion about what he does so that's so just name. showing some fraternal support That's it. because he is That's a fraternal it. twin, right? Yeah, identical. <laughs> identical twin. But when he works me out, we're going to look, at, look yeah. alike again. <laughs> <laughs> and the last thing I want to mention, because I know that he's doing this about the Bolts project, which is huge in scope and anything that you would like to um, maybe contribute, anything that you would like to say or anything, maybe just advice to anyone else, you know, uh, especially since you've worked so close, to, obviously your entire life with CJ. All I say is, all I can say is that uh, you know, America, look out, you know, because uh, he's not going to let you down. Yeah. He's not going to let you down. Uh, you know, he's he's a superstar, and, and you guys are going to know it.
That's all I can say. That's all I can say. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Dion. Right. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next to me is Jesse Campbell. Hey. Jesse, what brings you out tonight? Well, I came out to celebrate Battle of the Bulge and uh, my friend CJ of uh, CJ Functional Fitness and came out to sing a couple songs and enjoy the festivities. Okay, you seem like you're pretty comfortable around a microphone and singing a couple songs. Why would that be? Is there something I know you from? Is there a Maybe a little <laughs> show on a small network called The Voice on NBC. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was on the second season, so it was a wonderful experience, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. And then, so, how'd you hook up with CJ in the first place? Well, long story short, I was really just believing God for the right trainer to get me in shape and to help me to learn to defend myself because I'm a visionary. So I just visualize myself singing nationally and then traveling internationally. And I went to a uh, church to see a friend and just so happened that I stayed after to kind of help them move some things around right. and bumped into CJ and we've been together hanging out and training ever since. I think it's great that you're here tonight. You know, you, I, I've heard you sing. You've got a fantastic voice, you Thank know, you. and just Thank rallying you. the troops because this Battle of the Bulge thing is now in its fifth year. Yeah. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited and I can see that it's going to go um, spread the word out nationally, you know, to yeah. people here. So Absolutely. any closing thoughts that you want to mention or anything that you can impart with us that really stuck with you from CJ? You know what? CJ is such a, um, an optimistic, um, great trainer. Uh, there are times when I would come and I didn't feel like working out. I just didn't, you know, and it could have been spiritually and well, I know that it was spiritually, mentally and physically, but I would still show up, you know, and as a result of me showing up, I would meet CJ, mm -hmm. you know, and then the thing about it is he would always find some kind of way to encourage me. And when he didn't feel like it, he would just give it to me. Either you're going to work out or you're going to go home. It's just that simple. So if you're going to work out, stop complaining and let's just do what we're going to do and get it done. And I kid you not, at the end of the performance, I am just like performance. At the end of the workout, I relate everything to performing, you know. Well, I'm and sure it strengthens, strengthens your voice as well. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I mean, because it's just like, you know, what, TJ, what CJ teaches, it's the metaphors that apply not only in physical fitness, but life fitness. And as a result of that, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt since I've been with this dude for about five six years that I am a better person physically I don't look down here though because I still got a little bit to go you know what I'm saying but mentally spiritually across the board I'm a better person I'm a better dad and I like to believe that uh, when I get a woman I'll be a better man you know what I'm saying so that's the goodness just show up and when you show up things happen you can't just sit back and do nothing at least make an effort to show up you show up it'll happen for you Jesse, thank you so much. Inspirational words. I appreciate having you here tonight. Pleasure. Right. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me, man. Thank appreciate you. That. Appreciate Peace. it. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks, man. That was it. Was all right? That was it. Good. Yeah, it was great. All right, let me know if you need some rewrites or something like that. Fitness. Right next to me is Latif. Latif is not a trainer, but similar. Tell me, what is it? What is it that brings you out tonight? Um, I'm actually CJ's pro MMA fighter. CJ is my strength and conditioning coach. So um, I'm the uh, almost a contradiction to the to the term you know you don't have to be a fighter to train like one I'm the actual fighter that you know when people come in and they see me training they kind of go oh, I don't want to do that and they're like no 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 he's the fighter so we're gonna do something like that so that's kind of where <laughs> it kind of came from yeah going off of that since you are a fighter what is your training pro program what's that look like um, use, I'm a light heavyweight, so I usually walk around, you know, 215, 230, but I fight at 205. So uh, CJ has me on a regiment that I don't cut weight. I just gradually, I diet down, and I exercise, and I lose it gradually and properly rather than uh, putting my body under serious trauma by trying to dehydrate and lose 15, 20 pounds in a matter of Those are days. unsafe, exactly. unhealthy. Exactly. Yeah. So, so in my fights, I have more of a natural strength. I'm not weakened by debilitating my body and everything. Right. So that and also goes with focusing as far as a project, Battle of the Bulge LA. Mm -hmm. It's for people who, it's not a crash thing. It's not a one-time thing. It's not a, oh, I'm getting ready for the summer. You know, no, this is you getting ready and being prepared for life and being fit for your life, not being yes. fit for a season. Yes, the lifestyle, you know, exactly. and I've seen that with a lot of people. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, because, you know, um, 
it's, it's proof in his training and how he does things as well. And, you know, we have a lot of examples as far as my profession as well. So I have buddies who fight, who walk around at 250 pounds. Yeah. And they, they get down the weight, but they're so dehydrated and they're yeah. so tired. And then, you know, putting yourself through that type of trauma, it's weakness on the kidneys and liver. And, you know, it affects everything from your immune system to just, you know, your mood. I mean, you're cranky when you're starving yourself for three days yeah. and then you get to sit in a sauna for half a day. Yeah. You know, so. So, well, yeah, that's. Let's see if that's awesome to hear, actually from a fighter's perspective, and hearing what CJ's done and what has done for you and Battle of the Bulls is really exciting stuff. So it's great to have you here and just having your support. It's just wonderful. Thank you so much, Latif. Appreciate it. Thank you.